darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager a chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, the con artist intervened. <laughs> That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Awesome, yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless march down memory lane. It's gotta be some sort of payback. Payback? You think? Look, there's a long list of people we've only just recently pissed off. I'm sure it's one of those assholes looking for revenge. Yeah, that is a pretty long list. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? Let's make a run for it. Yeah, okay, that's a good plan. No, it's, it's far from a good plan. But it's the only one I've got. So let's go for it. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Head up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's it's genius. All right. Go on the three. One. Two. Three. Go! again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 
Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. Gornis. Hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gorgeous. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you said guilty. You hurt anyone. That's you couldn't fight fair, could you? Had to call in some goons to take her on. Goons? I wouldn't call Brick and Mordecai that. They're highly trained vault hunters, and they deserve your respect. Now listen up. Under normal <laughs> circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is... Yeah, yeah okay, we'll, we'll get you the piece. Oh, come on. Well, that's just lovely. And here I thought I was going to have to stab someone. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, come on, let's start come on. with how we're gonna get Everyone there. Everyone calm what? down, okay? Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we can How's your tum tum there, buddy? That'll one. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you we'll got the magic, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak sauce. And that's why we have to drill have down no on every aspect Get of the lost. Mission. Well, last so I checked, we were fault? stuck together, I kiddo, so I suggest you play nice, because you are going to need my help. Like Pretty sure I told great, you to go away. And reality. I forgive you, but we got to work on your manners, kid. So listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news here, but if there's one thing you know about me, it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. That's why I'm gonna share this juicy little Fine. tidbit with you. Solution, now, once upon a time, a few of my guys know, bought and yeah, borrowed to do an Atlas shipment oh, that contained parts now? for Would one of their top rest? secret projects. You know, <laughs> I know you love hearing yourself yammer on, but just spit it out, will ya? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I seriously talk too much? Reese? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> and no one's ever told me the truth before. Thank you. Thanks for your honesty. I really appreciate it, man. You're welcome. 
Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Guys, we can actually do this. What are you talking about? The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? That I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reese the location data now! We have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man, how many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? I get that you're scared. Okay, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship. Obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then, I'll disable the security system. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale, I'll digestruct a vast skies. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess! You'll sabotage the whole freaking mission! It just... came out of nowhere. Don't do it! You'll only make things way worse. Okay, team, um... Prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> Handsome Jack is in my head. God, but damn it! Did you just just allow me to explain? Okay. When I plug Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. 
but, but it's cool. It's cool. I've, I've got everything under control. <laughs> what? You had that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time and you didn't tell us? You asshole. And we thought August was a prick. <laughs> okay, if Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. Anyway, you know how it goes. Snitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's clever. So, when you slapped my ass back there, that was Jack? And here I thought of you as a friend. I'm not one to say I told you so, but, uh, I told you so. Oh, good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess! I'm sorry, all right? I should have mentioned it earlier. Yeah, you think? What is wrong with you? I get it. I messed up. Let's just say for argument's sake that you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. So far, so good. I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again... How can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us from here on out. No. Guess what? Frankly, no one knows Hyperion better than Jack. So, you think he'd be helpful? I think we'd be crazy to go in without him. Without who? Alright, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan? Oh, Scooter's a solid guy. He's not gonna hold a tiny little con against us. I guess he does seem to like us. Yeah, maybe. Ha! It's our living, breathing friend Fiona, looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, ha <laughs> ha. Wait, no. Not like you're a fast woman or... Shoot. Racing is going awesome. We just won the Grand Chalice and the Bad Attitude Crater Invitational, and I am, woo, tired from that. Uh, y'all know I was joking, right? I know you ain't really racers, but it ain't no big deal. Hell, I knew you was in trouble, and being lied to is one of the less horrific things that can happen to you out here. I'm just happy to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no, it's, it, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Scooter, we are going to space. What? I love space! It's like my fourth favorite thing, behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact. That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh, wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh, no. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. 
Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Hi, Janie. Hi, hat girl. She said it was just an easy protection job. As if anything's ever easy out here. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It took two Vault Hunters, and Valerie, and her entire gang just to take her down. Heh. <laughs> That's my girl. Ha ha ha. This is kinda awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just gotta I just sit. wanna know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh, man! That sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that... Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. Alright, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our pants. You <laughs> are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah. Let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. No, no, I don't want the little dude getting hurt. Noble, stupid as hell, but noble. <laughs>